Hey folks, have you been thinking about getting a tablet and you're not sure if you should get an iPad or an Android type device? Well, my name is Adria and today I'm going to review the Motorola Zoom and let you know about the features, benefits, and things I like about it. So, Motorola reached out and asked if I would be a brand ambassador for the uh, Motorola Zoom at the upcoming BlogHer conference, which is this weekend in San Diego. And I said I would be more than happy to check out their device and play with it and then talk with people about it. I've been riding the fence about getting a tablet, although my cat really likes um, playing games uh, on tablets, so finally I was like, I'm going to get one. So this was a great match. Now, I am an Android device owner already because I have my Nexus S, which I got uh, in December of last year, right? Before that, I had an iPhone, so I've kind of experienced both sides uh, of the fence. So what I'm going to do is run through the hardware specs uh, on the Motorola Zoom and then let you know what I've done to customize this and what I like about this device. So this has a dual core one gigahertz uh, processor in it. This specific one I got has 32 gigs of storage. I believe it goes up to 64 and there's also an SD card um, at the top so you could go ahead and add um, additional storage right here as well. This is the headphone speaker. Since I'm talking about all the ports I might as well just show you all of them. Uh, on the bottom here we um, have our uh, micro USB charging, uh, then we have our HDMI, which is a micro HDMI, so it's a little bit different. Um, and this one is for charging it as well, but this is with kind of the plug-in cord. So micro uh, USB will also charge and transfer data um, as well as here you can just go ahead and charge. And then on the side you have your volume controls, and then on the back What's this? We have uh, speakers and then we have our camera. There are actually two cameras which is really nice and very much like the uh, Nexus S and probably other cameras out there. The one on this side is the HD one. It can do video uh, and photographs but then this side is kind of a lower resolution so uh, what can I say but the good thing is you can use this for Skype video, Google Talk, G-Talk, all those things. So. Um, what do I want to talk about? So this model is um, the MZ604. I believe they also have the MZ606 out now as well. This is the Wi-Fi only model, so I do not have a contract with Verizon. Uh, what I've been doing is either connecting it to my home wireless network or tethering it from my Nexus S because you can do that with that sort of device. Um, the nice thing is this has HDMI. Now I don't have an HDMI cable, but once I get one, I will go ahead and show you guys how it looks to push out um, movies and YouTube and things uh, from the Motorola Zoom tablet to our large screen TV downstairs, which I think is like, I'm going to say 42 or 50 inches. I don't know, but we'll figure that out. Anyway, um, I think the thing I really liked about um, the Zoom is the quality of the screen. The responsiveness is, is very detailed. So, you know, you touch something and it, you can be very precise about it. It pops right up. Also, since I've already been an Android owner, and you know I have a very active uh, Google and Gmail account, um, it was very easy to add a lot of the apps that I was already using on my phone, um, including my password management tools, um, my Google Docs, uh, my different chat and social media clients. Over here you see I have Yelp, for example, um, and then you just pop into the Google Marketplace. Now, one of the new things that Google released um, in the Marketplace is the ability to download movies. So yes, I went ahead and downloaded a couple of movies, including I might as well just admit this, I've never seen any Harry Potter movies at all. So I download the first one, which is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So if we go here to movies, um, the selection was all right. Um, it was interesting. I did search for a couple of kind of like oldie but goodies. And I'll go into that in another video. But um, we can look at my videos over here. The other thing that I really liked was that you can actually download the movies for offline use. Let me show you how. So when you go over here uh, to a movie, then you want to go ahead and click on your settings and manage offline rentals. So I'll make a separate video about that because I'm sure people are looking for that. Um, but let's talk about managing the device. Um, most of your management console is right down here. So if we go ahead and click on this, um, you can see the time, the date, uh, the network you're connected to, how much battery power. You can click right here and go into your settings uh, and adjust different things. Like you can see I have my brightness up pretty high. Um, I can go into airplane mode pretty easy, which is awesome. Right, and I can go into my additional settings here, and there are quite a few. Everything from like your wireless network to um, privacy settings, uh, storage, and so on. So it's very, very detailed, um, which is nice. Also down here, all the notifications. So if you're used to um, your Android device where you, you do a pull down, 
uh, how am I going to make this work? You do a pull down to check, uh, you know, kind of what your updates and notifications are. Instead, they're down here in the lower right hand corner. So it's very easy for me to go in and like check my email. And I thought this was very Outlook-esque, like, because over here on the side, you can kind of scroll through things, and then over here, you can actually read. Mm, so I'm not sure how I feel about that, because I'm not a big Outlook fan, even though, yes, I supported it for a long time in Microsoft Exchange, and, okay, we won't go into that. Um, the other thing is, it, with the USB connection, you can transfer files, so whether you wanted to... Um, pull over a video that you had recorded on your Zoom, you can go ahead and do that, you could pull things in. Um, I am gonna, I haven't set up Double Twist on here. Double Twist is an app which allows you to pull in like things like your iTunes playlist and music onto your Android device. I've done it on my on my phone phone, but not done it on here, but I will. But what I did do is I installed uh, Google Music. It's in beta right now, so hopefully you've applied and you have received an invite. I'll cover that more later about transferring um, music over to your Android devices, but anyway, um, yeah, you can transfer files, which is cool. Um, I also installed the IO Manager, which is an app you can get through the marketplace to kind of help you with navigating through the files. That's a little geeky. Anyway, how's the wireless working? It's working great. It was super easy to get it on my wireless network. It was easy to tether it. And when I bring it out of standby, um, it, you know, it basically, here's my little guy. He's like, Wah! he has a lightsaber and he's slicing an Apple logo. Um, basically, it's very easy to get right online. So. I had no problems with that. Um, one thing I'm really super excited about is that this has GPS built in. So I will be able to go right over to Google Maps and you know look for look for things, look for locations. It's the same with Yelp as well. Um, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, let me zoom out. Because I'm uh, going to San Diego, I'll be flying out tonight. Um, and one of the other things I found out Google recently added was the ability to cache locations. So what I have done is I've cached a 10 mile radius in San Diego around the hotel where the conference is at. That way if I want to look things up, I won't need to be on an internet connection. I simply can just use my cached version. Okay, so here you can see there's like Los Angeles and um, San Diego is kind of, uh, great job pointing, Adria. Okay, San Diego is kind of below that. Okay, yeah, I know I'm awesome at pointing. There it is. San Diego! So I've uh, gone in and what you can do is basically pick a location, like if I pick the San Diego International Airport, I thought this was a very cool feature. Uh, so if I pick this, okay, waiting to select it, uh, and then if we go to more, you can actually say pre-cache map area. And now it'll say, oh, this may take a couple of minutes. It happened like really quickly for me though, which is awesome. All right, see so now it has these little squares. So now the, you know, anything that's local in there, restaurants and, and gas stations, that's all cached. And I can look at this offline. So, I mean, because I remember in 2008, when I tethered my Dell Axum uh, to an external GPS device I had, I had purchased to work with my TomTom Tom software, I mean, it was pretty like, you had to hack stuff together like five, five, six years ago. Now everything's like all easy. So I'm super excited to try out the GPS when I'm in San Diego. Also, I'm going on the Microsoft Sunset Sale, so I will be pulling up GPS on the boat just to see how that works. Um, where are some other things? I, yeah, I like the USB uh, that it has 32 gigs. Uh, I downloaded three movies, two or three movies, and I mean, I still have at least 25 gigs available, so I'm not worried about space. Um, what else? Oh, let's talk about Google+. Plus. I know everybody doesn't have an invite, I'm sorry. Um, but if we um, head over here to Google+, Plus, now my roommate who works at Google had said, well, he wasn't really impressed with this, you know, layout, because it could be more, like, tablet friendly, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, basically, you know, I can go ahead and look in my stream, I can leave comments, I can upload images and things like that. So, I mean, it works. Um, I wouldn't say it's the greatest interface, um, because it does look like it's really just been repurposed from the, the Android smartphone, but that's okay. Um, I'm glad they have the app, right? So... Um, some of the other things I want to talk about, um, oh, are the screen. Uh, this will create fingerprints, and so um, I have a little um, micro kind of cleaning cloth, but also I have my fuzzy cleaning cloth. I use this for my monitors and everything, so I've been cleaning it off like this. I'm not sure what's going to happen when I travel. It's going to be kind of special. Um, we can see here I'm looking at my calendar, and that's another nice thing, too. You can set the settings to automatically detect if you've rotated the screen or not. So it's very, very responsive. I'm very impressed by that. Um, I did do, I started Skype. I, I've Skyped with people, but I've not done Skype video. So there's a lot more testing I need to do with this. Uh, in terms of apps, 
Um, some of the apps that I've installed, like I said, are my social media ones, uh, Yelp, you know, uh, Google Beta Music. I have my camera right there, my Pomodoro to be productive. Um, I Calendar apps are big with me because I need to know what's going on. So I actually installed three. One was Smooth Calendar, one was Simple Calendar, and one was Android Agenda. Um, and I and what I did was I this one I customized. And if you ever want to modify a widget that you have, you just kind of touch over here. And so this one is Simple Calendar. Um, I like it because I can I can um, define which calendars I want and I can format it and everything like this. So you can see I kind of have some things set up for today. There are also four screens. So this is my primary screen, but see I have another area, workspace basically. If you've used Linux or you've used a Mac already, then you're familiar like with workspaces. Um, so you can see I was trying out some different calendars here. Um, this space is empty still. All right, and then I have the space over here as well. And you can see him in the background with his lightsaber. He's like, I will destroy the apple. Um, the movies render really well. Um, you may see that Netflix is on here. Netflix is actually officially is not available for the Zoom tablet, but you can find the APK file out there on many sites. So that's what I did. I downloaded it. Um, Netflix released uh, two tablets um, about two weeks ago because Lenovo released three tablets, I think two which supported Netflix. Anyway, it wasn't long before people, I'm not going to call them hackers, people modified that or just made it public so that we could get it. So I was able to stream videos, no problem, on here, which was awesome. Um, but, you know, I'm playing around with that and the, the Google kind of marketplace. What I'd like to see is what Amazon is going to bring to the table as well, because if they have a marketplace, then, and I am a, um, uh, a pr Amazon Prime customer, then I want to I want to be able to watch my videos on here. So since I'm flying, that's why it was important for me to, um, within the Google Marketplace, go ahead and enable that offline use. Another thing that you may not realize, I just want to bring this up, is that Amazon owns IMDb, and they have a really awesome app for it on the tablet. It renders so nice. It has previews, reviews. You can buy movie tickets. You can watch trailers. I know that they are one step away, really, from offering like both uh, rentals and offline viewing uh, for an Android tablet. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, that's it probably for now. Uh, I'll do another review. I mean, I think, uh, let's talk about it physically. I think that it, it's nice. It's a little bit beefier than I would say the iPad. Um, it's a little bit thicker, but um, I like it. It feels, you know, I know it's in my hand. It's not like it's extremely heavy. It's about, it's 10 inches, right? So it's definitely bigger than my, my Apple MacBook, which is 13 inches. Um, I went ahead and got that. What is it called? The Bear. It's called the Bear something. Bear. Oh, Bear Motion um, case. So it's a very simple case right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Uh, I didn't want something that was too bulky, and so this one's very simple. Uh, basically, you identify where your microphones and camera are at. You go ahead and slide it in. There we go. And then it has some Velcro on top, which you kind of just put over here. There we go. So, boom! There we go, right? So very simple, right? Not, not too complex. And it offers uh, two positions. So let me go ahead and show you those. You basically uh, take the cover, flip it over, and slip it into this little holder. And then you can go ahead and have it sit upright, so you could like watch a movie. Or you can uh, basically flip it around like this and then you would have it like on your lap. And since these hot buttons in the corner um, are they're not fixed like they are on, on the Android uh, phones. Now you have kind of your fixed area down here which you navigate with. Um, these will actually rotate along with your screen. See, so there they are. So, um, you know, so I think this will work for me because really I like I'm at the conference this weekend at Blog Her and I don't want to you know, I just want to be able to talk to people and be like, blah, 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 yada, yada, right? I don't want it to be like this big, cumbersome thing. In fact, this is the bag I'm going to be carrying around. I'm bringing this bag, which um, is a crumpler uh, camera bag. You may recognize this Bluey's old bag that I used to carry her in. But now, alas, I will be carrying uh, the Zoom and then uh, my Canon um, Vixia. So I'll be doing interviews. I'm like, tell me what you really think of blog her. No, I, actually, yes. Um, anyway, so I'll be carrying this bag along. And it's nice that since it's a 10-inch tablet, I'll be able to fit everything just in one little small bag versus, I mean, once you get into um, a laptop, 
you know, 13 inches, uh, you, you have to have a laptop bag. I mean, these netbooks, I'm not really hot on them. I've not seen a netbook that I really like. I wish that, um, and I know that Apple made, you know, that MacBook Air that's a little bit smaller, but uh, it's just not small enough for me. And then also it's underpowered. So um, I really like uh, the Motorola Zoom, and so we'll see how things go this weekend. I'll be bringing it around with me, asking people what they think of it. I'll let people try it out. Um, I'll definitely be doing some videos, recording, I'll be taking photos and things like that. So let me know if you have purchased a tablet. Are you on the edge of making a decision, a purchase? You know, are you going to make a decision because you're like with Verizon or you're with T-Mobile or AT&T or are you switching? Let me know. Thanks. I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta go catch my plane soon. Bye.